You start, I'll just be in this corner. Okay. That's good. Let's see. We starting? Yeah, we're starting. We're live. Hong Kong, Kong is live, guys. Hong Kong is live. Hong Kong is live. All right, guys. Scope day. What's happening? First of all, I want to say hi, and in Cantonese, is Lei Hou, not Ni Hao. Ni Hao is Mandarin. Just to get the facts right, right? <laughs> but the world, uh, hello world, this is Hong Kong, and you are with us at the tallest building of Hong Kong, Sky 100. And you're looking at Hong Kong Island right here. I am John, and I'm from Hong Kong, and I'm happy to be part of Scope Day. So we actually have quite a number of people here that I want to do a shout out. So if you guys can text some messages and put, them, put up some Hong Kong emojis, uh, we have actually the crew of Hong Kong Periscopers with us today, so it's amazing. Uh, we have Penguin6. He's just chilling over there, he's like, ah. Okay, so Penguin6 is one of the big time Periscoper in Hong Kong. So, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> so where do you scope, Penguin? Hey, I'm Penguin6. I take 20,000 Fitbit steps a day, which is about 10 miles. And I walk, normally every morning I walk around the peak in an effort to lose weight. Uh, then I come down to my house in the mid-levels and then I make my way down into Central to run errands. Usually silly little errands like getting lunch, going to the bank and stuff like that. But while I do it, I take the Periscope with me and show you guys the city. So uh, you guys can feel free to follow me and we'll start every morning with the peak and then a view around the city. and then. What you're looking at right now is central Hong Kong, kind of my backyard. The Bank of China is there with the X building, designed by Ian Pei. That's the second tallest building in Hong Kong. It has a complex, it's called the IFC. We're in the first tallest building in Hong Kong, ICC. This is also the fourth tallest building in the world by the number of floors, and the ninth tallest building in the world by height. And Penguin 6 is the encyclopedia. It's the walking encyclopedia. Yeah, I read Wikipedia when I'm bored. What else can we see down here? We got some fairies coming back from Macau. The ones that come back have the people that lost the money. The ones that are going out are the ones going to spend their money. And just all of Hong Kong down below you. I've been here five and a half years, really enjoy it. I'm here with a wife and two kids. So you hear a lot about them and about expat living as I'm an American now living in Hong Kong. So I'm gonna hand you back to John and he's gonna go find someone a lot more attractive than me. <laughs> all right, thanks Andrew. Go follow Penguin 6. Alrighty, and then we have Missy Pretty. Who is that? Hey, hey, hey. So we have Petit Cherry, uh, Petit Cherry Kong. Um, she's actually a local um, periscoper as well. Holy go. This That's is her me time. Yeah, you see I'm those cherries? Around. That's her. Go follow her. And where do you live? <laughs> and which part is this? Everyone's saying hi to you. Hello, uh, okay. So, okay. people, this, this is where I. Let me show you people. Uh, right here, in um, beyond the mountain over there, is my area. Okay, this is that is the southern part of Hong Kong. I live near Hong Kong University. But uh, anyway, to introduce myself, I am an entrepreneur in Hong Kong. I came from Canada. Okay, so I graduated, um, and then I came here to start a lingerie business. My lingerie business, same as my handle, uh, PetiteCherry.com. I sell bras and panties and other laundry goods on that channel, I mean on that website. Um, what else can I say about myself? <laughs> yeah. Do you have some props to show? Do I have props? Um, you know, because I want to be a proper person, <laughs> I'm not like, uh, let everyone know that, you know, I'm like, I'm not a porn star or anything, so I have like these. She's a very like, professional, professional entrepreneur and she does business, okay? So if you go to Tea Cherry's uh, scope channel, be sure to be nice to her, right? Yeah. But she's a lady. Okay, uh, guys, I don't try to sell you bras on my channel, but I do test out weird and interesting things for people. So I uh, try weird beauty things, I try weird foods, and yeah. Okay, follow her. Okay, this we're gonna me. find someone else. It's gonna go run, 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 run. Okay, so we are actually on the tallest building of Hong Kong. This is called ICC, and this place is called Sky 100. We can actually go in, and the next periscope Hi. is the Explorer. You are too popular, John. I can't get on. I told you to get on. <laughs> I know. 
I know, okay. but that's okay. That's okay. No okay. problem. There are no problems, just solutions, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is like, this is annoying. <laughs> watching myself, watching myself on Periscope. So bizarre. This is so bizarre. We do the craziest yes. things, John. I can't believe it. And you, it was John's idea. I said, bring a prop, and I brought a prop. This is my hat from Guangzhou. So I, I scoped for you guys in Guangzhou, uh, while well, these people were following me, and it was pretty fun, and it was really, 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 really cool. So tell, us, tell us where you live. I live right over there, right there, right around there, there, where that Bank of China is, okay? And there's some hotels. You see me scoping a lot from the Conrad, the Shangri-La, the Upper House. We do a lot of scopes. Hey, now, those, those buildings look so small now compared to here. I thought, when I get to the top of there, I'm like, we've got the best view in the world. But this is even better. So this is such an awesome thing. Guys, you gotta come to Hong Kong and visit this place. This place is amazing. Check out the view and the people. They just the need to clean the windows a little bit. But if they were cleaner, then, then you would see even a more spectacular view. But I think it's so impressive. One thing you have to do. I'm so excited because this is the first time I'm here. Thanks to John. Thanks to Periscope. Thanks to the, the guy who, who did Periscope Day. Day. You guys are awesome. So keep following John. He's amazing. And Good you're going to find some everyone. Good cool morning. stuff. Very hey, cool coming. stuff. Hey, and come to Zora the Explorer too. I mean, we do we do different things. We do a lot of luxury things. Kaiser Sound is in the house as well. All right. Okay, we're going to jump some Bye, guys. Have fun. Bye, everyone. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry guys, it's so like hectic trying to find everyone and you know getting them to tell, tell, introduce themselves. Okay, we are gonna hunt down the next periscoper in Hong Kong, and his name or their name is. Dun, 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 dun. Thanks for sharing, guys. Thanks for sharing. And if you want to know more of Hong Kong, be sure to follow this. Ah, Hello. This is Hi guys. What is that? What is that? Uh, Who is this? This is. Okay, stand here because of the light. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Periscope at the okay. area if you want to follow me. So this is about Hong Kong. Whoa! Yay! We have sideshows. Uh, please hold my spot, Mister. Yeah. Who so is that? Hong Kong. If you like Hong Kong and you like history, I'm gonna do the museum scopes, right? So um, this is actually uh, still exists in Hong Kong. So I'm taking you uh, through the old and new of Hong Kong. And if you're a fan of calligraphy. Ah, yeah, so calligraphy. I scope about calligraphy and uh, if you want to follow, follow and if you want to practice with me, all you need is a writing brush and also paper and then we're going to do it. Alright, okay, so follow next her month. Yeah, if, next month see, if you want to learn some calligraphy, she's really good at it. Yeah, and practice, then... practice. And then through sport events, music, dance and travel. Ta-da! Awesome. This is all Where's your partner in crime? Party is awfully quiet today. Welcome to Periscope. Welcome to my side of Hong Kong. Yo, yo, yo. I'll show you the dark side. Okay. Let's go to the dark side. Of Hong Kong. Yeah. 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 Ye
I, I love, I'm, I'm from Hong Kong and, and I've been living here for most of my life. Uh, give me your scope name. Uh, my scope name is right here, like John Ho. Wait, I need to pick up two cross as well. So this is what you're looking at right now, basically. Oh, thanks. Andrew's helping you too. Okay, but here's uh, John. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to show my face. Uh, usually I like showing my bobs better, you know? My bobs are prettier, but this is this is this is the entire Hong Kong city with 7.2 million people plus a little bit out there in the new territories area. And this is this is a great city. I love it. Like I like to talk about um, the culture, the lifestyle, the people that lives here as a Hong Kong person because I've been here for so many years. And and and, and so I love Periscope and a place in the sense that I can actually interact with you guys. So if there's any questions you guys want to know about Hong Kong. You know, you can come to us, Penguin Six, Raya, Jonathan, JK, Zora, us, you know. It's a great team. I'm loving this Periscope thing and I hope to tell people more about Hong Kong this place. We are not communists. <laughs> we don't eat dogs. And, and 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 we love dogs. We treat dogs as cats. As pets, the same, okay? As human beings. Godzilla We're actually, doesn't live here. And Godzilla doesn't live here. So get the facts right, we speak Cantonese here, but you know, it's all cool because we're here to educate and share experience and all that, so... <laughs> so, so, okay, so who's next, by the way? I need to do a shout-out for the person's next. Um, I can help this out. Uh, we have four minutes. John, let me show him China. Over through the map. Oh, China! And all the ships. Yeah, 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 the car. Okay. Vietnamese eat dogs, mainland Chinese eat dogs, Hong Kong people don't eat dogs because it's illegal. There's some people here. This place is called Sky 100. Uh, they actually have some props here that, you know, the mainland Chinese tourists are like... Okay, this is funny. What are they doing? They're pretending to be Superman. <laughs> Alright, this is the other part of Hong Kong. You guys gotta check it out. This is, this is Kowloon City. And you can see everyone is built, everything is built up, right? And that's new territories. And if you go all the way up north from here, you can see China, sort of. Now, people who's throwing up the, Chi uh, the Hong Kong flag, those are the periscopers of Hong Kong. So if you like to follow them, be sure to click your profile and hit follow, and you can follow them to know more about Hong Kong, yeah? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so this is Chinwan area. This is the Cargo Bay area. And if we go all the way up north, that's where you see China. Uh, up there, I think. Right? All right. <laughs> Penguin 6 can't do emojis. <laughs> is that where China is? No, China's over that mountain. Oh, okay. You can't see it that direction. Barely. On a clear day, you can see Shenzhen basically straight yeah. over that way. But mostly it's that direction. There's a little bit of haze today, so it's not the perfect thing. I've only seen China once. From up here. It was, a, it was the clearest day ever. I could see the skyscrapers of Shenzhen just barely. Just barely. Yeah, yeah. Through, through a gap. And that's why that's why Jonathan J.K. wears his mask, because there is a pollution, air pollution problem in Hong Kong. It's not too bad, but if you do have, like, you know, if you're sensitive about the air, then you probably feel a little bit irritated over the day. Yeah, there's a hill fire today, too. Oh, is there a hill fire? And fire choppers going out. So. Oh. 75% of Hong Kong is still jungle, and so we have forest fires. Yeah. So people don't believe that, but we do actually have forest fires. There's a rescue chopper going out right now, probably on a water drop. I hope nobody's getting hurt or anything. Okay. Kanji K is also in the house. Hey. Kanji K, also known as Keizo, he's from Osaka and he scopes Japan, and he's amazing. So if Kanji K can still type some comments, uh, be sure to follow Kanji K to check out Japan. He's also a periscoper that I love. I've met him in a long time. Okay, we have one more minute and then I have to go out. Where's that? Okay, the next person to uh, the next person to show up, I need to do a shout out for that as well as in the fire. And, uh, and then I'll be scoping out. And then be sure to follow the next person in the house. I cannot remember because I'm like Jessica Louise. Jessica Louise, okay? Take a screenshot and follow Jessica Louise and then she will be up next. And um, no, sorry you can't answer all your questions, but be sure to follow this. Periscope day, Periscope scope day is amazing. And the last view of Hong Kong. You guys are amazing. I love you all. Disneyland. Disneyland is over there, right? I like that you can see just space mountain right over there. Ah, I didn't.
didn't even know that. Cool, yes, we do have kids. Disneyland in Hong Kong. I need kids. <laughs> Shoot that. All right, this is Team Hong Kong. Uh, thank you for following and thank you for checking this out. What about doing this? Uh, oh, we don't have enough time. It's okay. Oh. Uh, Team Hong Kong is here. Just do another selfie shot with us. Do a screenshot. Everything's from this back. Okay. Okay, and then I'm closing down the channel. And then you guys go to Jessica Louise to do this, alright? Bye, Hong Kong.